What is going on guys? I am the white guy. Today we're playing some more MX Simulator and we're checking out uh, JG's MX Outlaws MX is the track that I was made. I saw this on the sim forums. I was browsing around. I was trying to find the uh, Glen Helen Nationals track, but there's some sort of drama going on with sims. So there's only the Hangtown Nationals track, which that video may or may not already be up. But as far as I can find, there, there's a bunch of drama going on with you have to pay for the national tracks now or something like that, which I don't think that's very, I don't think that's a good idea. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that because then there's going to be people who are going to whine and cry, whatever I say. It's, I, I don't condone paid tracks, I'm going to leave it at that, so we're, we're not going to be getting any of the nationals tracks on here. So you guys are just going to have to sit that one out and wait a bit if you guys want to see that. Don't know what's going on with those, but this is Outlaws MX, the tracks... Uh, the thing looked fun in the thumbnail and the, the comments or reviews or whatever on the uh, forums were looked pretty good. And so far I've actually have not crashed yet and I've actually been able to hit jumps and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and give this track a thumbs up. So far I just need to slow up because there's no track map so I don't know what's coming next. So I'm going to take it easy for the first lap so I can actually just not run off. That's going to be a step down, isn't it? Yeah, there's a triple step down. All right. Sit down at the corner there, and what we got coming up next? There's a off camber turn. Let's try and grab. Looks like there's a berm here. We might be able to snag. There we go. We'll just drop her down into third. I'm breaking bumps. Let's see what's see. Is it gonna be a triple? No, we're, that's gonna that's gonna be a jump off the tracks. What that's gonna be? Uh, let's pop back on right there. There we go. What do we got? Um, nothing there. All right, that's just a downhill. Right, all right. Let's pop her up a gear. Hit the triple. Oh boy, I just, I just completely just nailed that triple. We got a little bit squirrely, but we hung on to that. Uh, that is a I, again. I don't know where any of these jumps are coming from. Don't know what's coming where. I think this track might be for 250s because I'm over jumping stuff in like second gear. Actually, I, I guess it doesn't matter what the track's made for. You can just ride the 450 in a lower gear and you'll be fine. So here we go. Oh, ah, just nose dive into that ride. That's not good. And we just flipped over there. Let's get her back up on the, th the two wheels there, unless we had some training wheels on the back. Let's see, we got a double there maybe? No, that's tabletop, which we actually cleared for a change. Let's grab this inside. Alright, and there's a thing to hit here. We're gonna try and stay on the bike. Throw a little, little bitty whip over the triple. Case like the triple, and hang on to it, hang on to it, hang on to it! I'm not gonna count that as a crash. I could think the guy didn't fall off the bike. That's that's not a crash. That is the tabletop, and it looks like we got a double of some sort. No, it's no, that's a triple. All right, we're gonna case the triple there, which is very case friendly, thankfully. And uh, we're gonna go straight to the outside line there, the uh, express pass to the farthest outside is what we just took. And uh, again, if there's a track map here, that'd be extremely useful. So I, I, it's gonna take a while for me to actually remember where to go on this track. I wish there was a map of these. In sim tracks on the top left there, there's usually, or top right, there's usually a map of the track so you can see, oh, that's a straightaway, that's a, probably a big jump, let's go ahead and pin it. Or it's like, oh no, that's just a wall, it's not pin it. But for, I don't remember there being any walls in that last lap there, so we're just going to pin it for everything and hope for the best. Hit step down. Hit that little, oh, I, oh, I like that, I like that way that step up works. We're going to just launch it all the way off into the braking bumps though. Alright, let's put her up, get her over. Just transfer line off the track there, completely intentional. We're gonna pop her down to first for the braking bumps. We'll try and snag, not quite all the way inside. And there we go. This is, I don't, there's not a jump here. This is just up the hill and you just kind of roll off these bumps, I believe. You enter the corner. And we're just gonna slowly roll over forward on the Pro Shot, Jack Daniels, Paps Blue Ribbon, FMF, Case Life, something other, AR 15 Racing Yamaha. There we go. I like that step down triple there. This this track is so nice. Like I don't know. I just like the way this looks. It flows with the terrain very well. Now I think he did a really good job putting this together. It's not terribly hard. Like I can imagine you could be a lot faster. This is not like super easy. But so it's, it takes some skill, but it's not to the, hard to the point where it's like, okay, I'm actually gonna have to like I'm gonna die if I'm not 100 percent always on point. It allows for some mistakes and it's like I think this is a good track to try and learn how to use the game on. Which is nice, because I am not very good at this game, if you couldn't figure that one out. So I'm kind of taking it slow so I don't crash too much. Hit the triple. Case the triple. And let's just roll off the bike there. So we might want to just slow up and hit the double there, because we're not going to... I don't think we're going to have the skills to grab all those triples. Let's just try and charge up this hill here. I can't remember if there's a jump or if this flattens off. I think it just flattens off, right? Yeah, it flattens off into the corner, which we should not have gotten on the brakes in the air for, but I, I'm going to go ahead and not count that as a crash. I think this is a triple here. 
No, that's just a double with a breaking bump we just downsided there. So that ended up working out pretty well, I would say. Let's pop her into first for this corner, maybe up to second for the exit. This is just a tabletop, right? Yes! All right, remember that was a breaking bump there. Let's grab that. Nope, we're gonna blow that rut out. I lied. Actually, it's more of a berm than a rut. And either way, we're gonna blow it out. Uh, let's just take all these different lines, cut all the way over across the track. And let's go up into second and case the triple as we do. And we'll just pretend we railed that berm nicely, hit the tabletop, and I think this is a double here. So we're just gonna stay in second for it. Nope, that's a triple. You gotta be in third gear for the finish line jump. I lied! But there's our best of 252.3 is what we have to beat. And I think if we just do a lap without crashing here, we'll beat that pretty well. So let's drop her back down into first over this little bump. Oh, Huckabuck and front flip. Front flips for days is the way I do simulator. In case we haven't figured that one out. But uh, here we go. And hit double. And triple out. Actually, you can only really double out there and go straight across the berms right into just drive that thing hard into the back berm here So we can rail that super hard and then let's do some one-footed 180 thing as we try and hop across these berms <laughs> let's Get her up on the wheels again. There we go. That's what I needed and I think this is a step down Yes, and I like this the step up here. I think this is so cool. It's like a double Double, double, but I like the way that step up runs. I think it's super smooth, super fun, and we just front flipped again. Gotta watch it with the brakes on this. You gotta, you gotta get on the brakes the right time or you're gonna flip over and die. All right, here we go. Set the double. It's case the double. And let's ride this back down the hill here through these little whoop roller bump things. I don't know what to call those. Those are braking bumps right there. Take the inside. Let's unsit. And I think this bends left up here, right? Yes, it does. All right, I remember that much. Grab that rut. Hit the, uh, that's a triple. And then you can just kind of smoothly take this up the hill, just drive it up, and put it back down. Sit down through this corner, I think we need to. That's just a smooth right-hander there, and it gets off camera a bit. Let's unsit for those blue whoops. And down the gas. Hopefully we can actually clear that. Nice, we made it. And we'll just take this middle line. That doesn't count as a crash. Nope, we, we stayed on the wheels. I still, I could still give the bike throttle the rider and fall off the bike, so I'm not going to count that as a crash. It's the slight mistake, misstep is what it's going to be. Go the inside. We'll just double that. We'll just double, double from the inside. And now that that was also a slight mistake, but we still, we kept it up. We're still going, still going, and. Hang right, and no, we messed that up pretty bad. All right, here, maybe we can just throw a little, little itty bitty whip over this double here, I'm thinking. There we go. Little baby whip. Little baby whip. And on the gas again. We've got the tabletop coming up, which I will try and get a bit. I'll try and throw a bigger whip over this tabletop here if we can manage. There we go. And rev limiter into the braking bumps. Somehow hung on to that. Don't know how we did, but we did. And I'll just continue on from there and not think twice about that miracle that just happened. Can get better at throwing some whips now. We're not we're not gonna bring him back or we still didn't crash. Well, that is amazing to me. I think I'm trying to get better. You gotta, if you're gonna bring him back, we actually have to make sure we don't case these. Cause if we just case it, if we're just gonna just air wheelie it, we can case stuff all right. But if we're gonna try and throw whips out, we actually gotta make sure we're clearing everything here. So up in the third for that. Can try and throw one over that nice and low. And there's some bumps right there we're going to go through, and then we're going to do a backflip, and then we're going to do a 180, and we're going to see the back fender, and then we're going to get the front wheel. And then we're going to slowly pick ourselves back up and head out for another lap here. Go, let's try and get one more in. Alright, you're going to bounce off of that. That's a double we could just take right there, and I just dove to the outside by accident there, so we're going to try and pop back in here. Grab that. I think that's a double, double. We're could have grabbed there. Let's go back to the outside because I, I like outside lines because there's less pressure on me to screw it up. I can just kind of ride through those a lot easier. And there's some little bumps right there. And then we're going to step down. And then we're going to step up. And then we're going to step up again. We'll try and throw, <laughs> whip over that step up. There we go. That was actually pretty smooth. Uh, we're going to cut the track right there for a tactical corner cut there to save some time. And I'll just wheelie back onto the track there like a transfer line like like the look make it look intentional that's what we're gonna do oh get back on the course there there we go 
and we're just gonna ride that up the hill, hit some bumps, and I believe we're gonna cut off the track, nosedive into the berm in front, flip it back out, and now our arm's buried in the dirt, that's nice. Let's get ourselves turned around here and hopefully we can actually finish a lap without wrecking too hard. 312 is the time to beat, we're gonna hit the step down, we're gonna case the step down, and then we're gonna rail around that, really rail it so much as just trying to get through there without crashing. I guess you can try and jump that. Oh, I see. You can like jump that and cut a bit of the track off. Maybe I, maybe I don't see. Actually, I might have just lied about that right there, just a bit. And pop her into third for the double. Pop her back down to first for the corner. Grab the inside. There we go. And brakes, 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 brake, brake, brake. And we got the brakes too hard and washed out. That's always fun. Let's get her turned around again. Double that, case that, double that, and case that double as well, but that was a tactical case to slow ourselves down in time for that corner. And uh, this, I can't remember what's coming out, so I'm gonna stand first gear if I don't know what's coming. I believe this is just a double though. We're gonna transfer line off to the track there, as obviously intentional to get the smoothest possible landing, so we could continue our drive into the next corner here. And maybe we try and scrub this one. That wasn't a scrub. But I, got, I landed it and didn't roll off the track, so I'll be happy with that. There we go. And we're going to go right between the two lines there, because that's obviously the fast line is the one that nobody took. And let's just throw another whip off, off the track. Let's go say hi to the people that are not in the stands, and then we're going to hop back on the track here. Like, we been, again, intentional. I, why would anybody ever think it wasn't? Air wheelie that one out. Oh, boy. On the third. Try and keep that one low. Maybe that was a bit too low, because I think we just ran that straight into the knuckle of that. We'll go out for one more lap, and we'll try and break that 252. Actually, let's do a time trial. All right, here we go. Let's try and actually get a... I think 252 is the time to beat, so here we go. Air we leave that out. Pop her into second. Pop her into third. That did not work out. How do I reset this? Uh, there we go. Can I reset this now when I screw that? Find your line up. That's nice. I gotta get into second for that. Put her back down. Ah, just reset that again. Here we go. I really should have just done this whole video in this time trial mode here. I just jumped that on off to the side that time. You go into second. Jump that without going off to the side. <sighs> I'm, I'm, now I'm starting to rush it and start screwing up more. The second. All right. There you go. Put it down. Pop her up into third. Just jump that. Launch that one out. Go back down to second. On the brakes. 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 All right, we hung on to that. Good. That's good. We didn't fall off yet. That's good. I think we can double over this. Yes, we can. Put her back down to first. Jump through that berm. So double, double we're going to grab right there. Let's not go too crazy. Just want to get a lap done without crashing so we can beat the 252. I think that was with a crash. <laughs> There's probably people running lap times under a minute on this track, too, as I'm trying to. St I'm struggling to get under three minutes. <laughs> And we cased that, but we're good. We're still we're up on two wheels. That's good. Uh, I believe this is a tabletop or double type deal there. Out. Yeah, that's double. And there's some bumps. Let's get on the brakes for those. Keep her up and just negotiate that corner in a terrible way. And we're gonna cut back to the outside. Here we go. Here we go. This this is no. We can't double over that. Actually, I lied. I was about to, but I just remembered the last second. It's like nope. That's a downhill triple. Though I remember that. There we go. And then we're just going to come blast around that. I'm not going to try and take that fancy jump there, because again, that's just another chance for me to wreck, which I'm trying to avoid doing at all costs. There's a couple bumps we're going to hit right there as we come to this corner. On the power again. Just clear that. Nice. Put her back down into first so we can get through this corner. Just don't, don't, don't lose it. Don't, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Keep it up. Just keep her on two wheels and we'll beat the lap time. It's all I need to do right now. Oh, I went for the triple and I should I should not have tried for that triple, but we're still up on we're still up. We're still gonna go for that 252 to try and beat it. Should not have gone for that triple though. I completely forgot about that much. There we go. Let's put her in second for that. No! Well we we're still up, we're still up, we're still going. Still going strong. Ish. Just cut over to the left there. Up into second, let's get through those bumps, alright, those bumps, are, I always so ginger and nervous going through bumps like that, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We were doing so good just then, 
So good. All right, just close out this lap here and we'll be done with this. Get, get, up, get up there. Get up there. There we go. Let's just hit that tabletop right there. Grab a little bit of brakes. Come around that corner. I'm gonna tap that, bump off of that, and we're gonna hit this nice little tabletop right there. That should be nice. Oh, that, that's a triple. That's not a tabletop. That's a triple that we just cased horribly. Uh, let's get back down to first and just don't screw up this last little corner here. And we screwed up the last little corner there. God. Ah! That's gonna do it for this video, guys. I'm about had it with this now. Thanks for watching. If you want more MX Simulator, more of anything, let me know in the comments. Appreciate all the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next one as we toss a little front flip out. Are we going to land that? I think we're going to land that and just roll away. Do we go for the double? We probably shouldn't have tried for the double there. Yeah, we're not getting a double. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.